welcome to yet another episode on our youtube lesson okay um here we are looking at a circuit diagram that involve uh, involve the cell with emf pd uh, resistors and of course the current here we can they can ask you to get the current they can ask you to get current um, or the ammeter reading the voltmeter reading or they can ask you to get any any pd across any of these resistors now in this such a diagram uh, we are basically going to look at the calculations that are involved here they say in the circuit diagram above the ammeter reading is 2 amperes 0.2 amperes now it means that this ammeter is reading 0.2 amperes okay now they are saying that we calculate calculate the total resistance remember they have given us individual resistance now from our knowledge we have obtained earlier so they have already they have we, we say current comes from positive terminal like that goes through R1 then it goes through R2 then it goes through R3 now that means that R1 R2 R3 are resistors that are in series that is point number one so it means that the equation you are going to use is that one R1 plus R2 plus R3 gives us the total resistance R. Now, it means that when we substitute in, we shall be able to get uh, 30 for R1 plus 20 plus 10, giving us 16 ohms. So, that is the starting point. Start by identifying the direction of current to identify whether it is parallel or series here we have said it is series because current does not separate now part two of the same question they are saying that we calculate the total pdv or someone can call it the emf e now when we are told to calculate the total pdv then we need to know the ohm's law equation we need to know the Ohm's law equation. And now we are saying that Ohm's law equation is given by that. That PDV is equal to I, R. Where I is the current and R is the total resistance. Now, V, this is V, can be E. Where, whereby we are talking about, we are talking about the EMF supplied by the, the, the battery. We, we are going to assume that in this case, the internal resistance is too small to be neglected. We shall not talk about it. So we shall assume that the EMF equals the PD and it will be the summation of these individual uh, PDs. Now, Another thing to note, we have already, already noted that current through R1 is equal to current through R2 and is equal to current through R3. Now, when you come, then we shall say that our R is 0 0.2 because it is the ammeter reading and it was it is the, is the current that goes through R3. Therefore, it is the same current that goes through R2 and the same current that goes through R1 and it's the same current that goes through when you add up all of them because when you add up all of them then we shall have something like this okay? remember this is your R which was 60 the one you have got now this is where the ammeter reading is so it means that if the current of the ammeter is 0 0.2 it means that it is the same current that goes through the 60 of that one is clear so you just substitute in and say therefore my v is equal to ir 
therefore i is equal to 0 0.2 and the 16 giving me 12 voltage uh 12 volts that is the total voltage supplied by the battery and that answer the question okay um now we we'll look at another example okay now this example is slightly similar to what we have just looked at earlier however now when you look at uh, this example they are saying that we consider a circuit with current of two amperes flowing flowing um whereby you have two re uh, two resistors of resistance three ohms and two ohms and those are connected like that so they say capture the pd the pdv you want to get this pdv step one uh, identify where current is coming from the relation of current it comes from positive the longer term is positive then the shorter one is negative positive then when it reaches here it separates into i1 and i2 then that means that these two resistors share current so they are in parallel they have different current so they are in parallel then this current will combine and then it goes back to the source now when we look at this that one uh, helps us to know that the equation we are going to use to get the total resistance is this one Is that one so why do we get the resistance there is no way you will get this pd unless you know total resistance remember the heat is our formula we shall use is v is equal to ir so this is it total resistance i want total pd and i must have total current so that is why we need total resistance now when we get our formula that 1 over r is equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 then we shall substitute in when substitute in we get uh, this 1 over r is equal to 1 over 2 2 is, uh, is r1 then 1 over 3 3 is r2 then um, we solve we, we solve and when we solve, we shall be able to get 6 over 5 as R. In simple terms, what we can do here, we get the LCM here, which is 6. When we get the LCM, which is 6, 6 divided by 2 get 3, plus uh, 6 divided by 3 get 6. For the final, the one which is up there. Now, then, this one gives me 5 over 6. Then we get the 1 over r. Now, when we move r to the total formula, we will get r is equal to 2 times 3 over 2 plus 3, which is the reciprocal of this one, and we get 1 over 2 times power. Now, after getting the total resistance, then we shall be able to get the total. Current. How do we get the total current? We shall use this formula here, ohm zero, from the formula V is equal to I R. This is the, our PD. PD or the EMA or the total voltage will equal to substituting our I is given as two times one point two, which is the total resistance, and we shall be able to get the total voltage okay now look at this last example this is a very interesting example i want you, all of us to be very attentive while learning this it's very interesting now we have both here we have been having parallel connection then there we've been looking at a series connection here we have both parallel and series connection now when we look at this when we look at this then we shall be able to have uh, our diagram they're saying that you have a battery of emf 
10 volts and the negligible internal resistance is connected to the to resistors R1, R2, R3. R1, R2, R3. R3. Now, each resistor, uh, R1 has 6, R2 has 4, R3 has 2.6. Now, the question 1, question 1, calculate the current through the 6 ohm resistor. This is one question, but it, it has very many sections embedded in it. Now, here we shall say, catch the current through the 6 ohm resistor. This one, they want, in other words, they want to get the current I1. Step 1, identify the direction of current. Current comes from quality, the longer terminal, then reaches here, junction, separate. When it separates, uh, it means that R1 and R2, R1, R1, and R2 are in parallel. Then later, it is going to combine. And the other current goes through R3. So, R1 and R2 are in parallel, independent of R3. So, we first deal with the combination in parallel. So, we shall say, combine these ones. Get one resistor. She has said total resistance in parallel RP is, equal, is given by 1 over RP equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Combine these two. The way we did it up, then when you combine those two, we shall be able to get, of course, to solve, substitute 1 over R1 is 6, 1 over R2, R2 is 4. Uh, get the MCM, then you'll be able to solve. And when you solve this, of course, this is the same as uh, the MCM 24 divided by 6, you get 4, plus divided by 4, you get 6. That is the same as having uh, 1 over R, 1 over R. P equals to 20, uh, is equal to 10 over 24. Now, then you get the reciprocal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that means that uh, we have to take the reciprocal or you force multiply. So when you take the reciprocal, and then we say our RP is equal to 2.4. Now, you have combined now these two, these two resistors, they are combined. So you are left with, the, uh, remember you've not combined all of it since this one is not inclusive. So you say, that means that when you combine, then you have this RP, then you also have this RP. So, uh, this current go through the combined resistance and it goes through the R3. So it means that RP and R3 now they are in series. So we shall now combine the those two. We combine the two and get the total resistance as the 5 ohms. Remember in series we add up the resistors. So we shall be able to get the total resistance as 5 okay now this is the total resistance in the circuit only if there is no internal resistance however if the internal resistance is there then it means you have to include it on the 5 you add it on the 5 if it is not there the that 5 becomes the total resistance then step 3 after getting our total resistance we get the the total current. Remember, I want to get the current I1, but uh, the, the route I'm taking, I need to get first of all the total current. 
how do I get the total current? I use the formula V V is equal to IR. That is my general formula. So when I substitute in, I get V is equal to 10. Then uh, I is the one I want times 5. So I get my current as 2 amperes. Now, imagine I have current 2 amperes. My equation wants to get the current I want. So these 2 amperes, 2 amperes separate into 2 to get I1 and I2. Now, since the 2 amperes separate into 2, then it means it means that uh, uh, I have the I have to get I1, which is not necessarily equal to two amperes. Actually, it's not equal to two amperes. I have to look for it. How do I look for it? I go to step four. I'm going to use my two amperes here. I'm using my two amperes here to be able to get the PD across the combined resistance. This speed I'm calling it V parallel. How do I do that? I'll say V is equal to IR. What is my V? V is the V parallel I want. Remember, this current of two amperes goes through the combination when you combine everything here. So you get one R which is at a parallel. So it means that this V is across the parallel, which is equal to IR. Then we shall say, when we use this formula, we shall say our VP will equal to the two amperes, which I got times the 2.4. What is 2.4? My 2.4 was the resistance in the parallel. Then I get 4.80 volts. That is the PD in parallel here. The PD here is 4.8 volts. Now, remember we said, if you have resistance in parallel, the PD for parallel combination is the same as PD for the, those resistors in parallel. PD for R1 is equal to PD for R, R2 and is equal to PD with a whole combination then after that we shall therefore say if they are equal then our PD across R1 PD across R1 uh, is equal to PD across R2 our V1 our V1 is equal to I1 times R1 V1 equals to I1, the current going through R1 times the resistance itself. So, remember we said our V1 is the same as this V1 here is equal to V2 and is equal to Vp. Pd in parallel is the same. So, that's why we substitute in, we put in 4.8 equals to I times the 6. The 4.8 equals to I times 6. Divided by 6, divided by 6. So our our I1 will equal to 0.80 amperes. Thank you.